Ah, uh, the wonderful thermostat. Um, we know about thermostats. Uh, there's conventional thermostats. There's heat pumps thermostats. They have multiple stages. Uh, a one heat, one cool. A one heat, two cool. Two heat, one cool. Uh, all them heats and all them cools, right? You got to make sure you get the right one. If you've got a furnace, you have to have a conventional typically. Um, and we're talking just straight up normal furnace, right? You have to have a conventional setup. Um, you, uh, if you have a heat pump, you have to have a heat pump thermostat uh, in most cases. There are some uh, things that get uh, kind of weird in the field, um, but if you read the manufacturer's uh, manual and the brochure, the literature, um, the very few cases do you have a heat pump without a heat pump thermostat. Um, but you understand what I'm saying. You have to know what you're working on. We talked about that in class. Uh, usually ours are 24 volt powered. Now I say usually 24 volt powered, but um, we all know you can put batteries in it uh, and we've uh, done some troubleshooting exercises in the shop where I've uh, given you batteries in the thermostat and messed with the wires or something like that. Um, but I'll come back to that in just a second. Um, for the thermostat, you have to know um, what system you're working on. And of course we've got our, our uh, terminals that we've identified uh, in uh, multiple classes. R is our 24 hot, G is our indoor fan relay coil, Y is for our contactor coil, uh, your emergency auxiliary, W, W2, um, those terminals are for your heat relay coil, uh, typically your electric heat, um, uh, secondary heat and a heat pump, or it could be W1 uh, or W by itself for a furnace, um, but it, it's it's reserved for the heat um coil okay or in, in the case of a furnace it's like your gas valve which is a coil okay uh, the C that's the common terminal uh, this could be B if you're messing with the um, ream ruds the, the backwards one okay and then O I'm sorry not common uh, B on a train is uh, I believe your common terminal um, O or B is your reversing valve uh, is what I meant to say uh, B for backwards on the uh, ream and rud brands. Uh, the B is for the reversing valve for them. Uh, most reversing valves uh, energize to be put into cool mode, so they are defaulted or a failed mode in heat. You'll always get heat no matter what, okay, uh, if something breaks. Uh, but that's, of course, backwards and opposite for the ream ruds. Uh, if their reversing valve fails to get power, then it's going to go straight to cool. You have to energize that reversing valve. Uh, to get heat. So um, I'm going to throw up my, my all time favorite. There we go. I'm going to throw up my all time favorite uh, thermostat here. Okay. Um, this is the Honeywell 5000. Uh, lovely thermostat. Uh, here's something uh, I hope you remember. Uh, a, lot of th a lot of thermostats are Honeywell out there. And if you look on the back of the Honeywell thermostat, right, uh, you're going to see this TH number. This is a TH, a thermostat, 5320. That's the, the specific uh, model. Uh, there's a 5310 and a 5330. Uh, I've, got a, I've got another one. This is the big brother. Uh, you can see that this one actually has the hold. Okay. Uh, this is a 5000 here at the bottom of the screen. This is a 6000 uh, here at the top of the screen. It is uh, programmable. That's really the, the biggest difference. Uh, and if we look here, you'll see that this is a TH6220, okay? So on Honeywell's, if you flip those over, you can see the actual model. Uh, and like I've told you before, you can uh, grab your smartphone and go straight to Google and type in that number and then put something like manual at the end of it. And you'll you'll be able to download the, uh, the, uh, the manual that you need to access the uh, the controls properly so you can set it up uh, correctly. All right. Uh, I, I don't like batteries. I've told you all that before. Um, but in some cases, uh, like this one, I'm going to put batteries in. So I've got two AA batteries here. We'll just rock this. Uh, and one good thing is it'll power your thermostat. And you can actually go in here, you know, and do the configuration. Okay. Oh my God, this is the test mode. So um, you can go through here 
and, and do your test and, and whatnot. I believe this is the combination of switches for the 5000 where it actually goes in, yeah, it goes into your configuration mode. So um, once you enter the configuration mode, you can go through and uh, tell it what type of system you have uh, in detail. Uh, how long do you want the time delay? Do you want it to be in Celsius or Fahrenheit uh, on the temperature display? Uh, you know, all those options that you have. Uh, some of these uh, more sophisticated uh, versions of thermostats, they have hundreds of options. So just make sure you read the manual. Uh, another reason that you don't necessarily have to throw the batteries away is because I can take, if I'm testing a thermostat, right? I can take, and let's just say... Um, you know, this, this was wired on the wall or, or, or you know, wherever. Um, you can take this sub base off the wall and you can go to your service van or your, your truck or whatever you got and you can wire up a small piece of thermostat. You can wire up a small thermostat wire, okay? And you can actually, um, giving away all my tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. You can put the batteries in, right? And you can go through here and turn the fan on. And if you remember what happens in a thermostat when you turn the fan on, you are manually closing a switch from R to G. And you can actually, um, if you were to put that back on the sub base, uh, you can actually take, you know, your, um, your green wire and your red wire and you can do continuity on it. Uh, just to make sure that the thermostat did close the switch. When that's done, turn it back into auto mode for your fan and the continuity should go away. All right, put it in cool. What are we going to do in cool? Well, R to G is going to close. Uh, R to Y is going to close. Uh, if this is a heat pump, you may even have the, the R to O or the R to B, depending on uh, what brand you have. Uh, but you can, uh, without having it on the wall, you can have it right here in your hand. You can check for continuity. Uh, and at least have an idea of which circuits the thermostat is actually closing. Um, and then, of course, you would turn it off uh, and make sure that those circuits open back up. So uh, that's kind of the poor man's way without using a meter, uh, but still using a meter at the same time.